Hey guys, welcome back to a new uh, vlog video of my uh, project. Um, today was a really tough day. Finally, I had uh, a few hours spare on my Saturday to uh, um, disassemble uh, my uh, my engine. And uh, obviously, I first have to, uh, had to start with my uh, alternator, um, which is here. I got off my alternator but I never had so much trouble taking it off. I've got my special tools, I've got my, uh, my uh, pooler special uh, tool which even is in the workshop manual. Use a pooler like this. Uh, I used it and the alternator was so stuck. And normally um, uh, this isn't a problem and I know I have to use a lot of force and it doesn't feel right but eventually it will come off. Uh, sometimes you have to heat it, so I uh, use my uh, heater and then or maybe some uh, special liquids to uh, to make it loose, but it just wouldn't come off. I had to use so much force that my my crankcase, um, uh, sorry, my um, crankshaft split in half. Now I haven't ever ever uh, 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 could imagine that that would happen. It's because you use uh, a special pin uh, with the puller to keep it centered and there was so much force on it that it split in two. Um, so I went off and uh, I thought like okay do I need another puller or something so I went to a lot of car shops and uh, special uh, uh, tool, uh, tool shops to find uh, the correct puller but they all came with the same puller as I already am using. Um, I just bought an extra one uh, to, because uh, I was kind of wrecking my, uh, my, my other puller so I bought an extra one and then finally it came off. But man, 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 that was a really tough start. Let's have a look at the video. So this is the start of my disassembly, disassembly of my engine. Use my rotor puller and everything you, uh, as I do normally. Uh, try everything, use a lot of force uh, as it should. But then all of a sudden I see here that it's got split. I try to strain it again, uh, try to heat it, um, do everything I can and I decided to, use, to buy a new puller. Uh, so this is a new puller and I thought this is my last attempt. Everything has to be perfect. All the threads, all the nuts, everything has, has to be perfect in a straight line. And I thought I'm gonna give it my maximum effort, uh, just one try. And if this doesn't work, um, then I don't know what to do. So, so I pull and I pull. Um, and this is my very last attempt. Uh, now watch this um, closely. I give it maximum force. You can also can see that my wrench goes all the way, all the way. And I thought I'm going to break it now or something. And this is what I thought at this moment. But there it came off and I thought, okay, something is broken seriously now. But uh, it, uh, it hasn't, uh, the rest is perfect except for the crankshaft, but the rotor came off eventually, luckily. So, thank you all for watching and um, I know that uh, stuff isn't always going to be so easy as it looks. Uh, this is just uh, how, it, how it's in practice. So, uh, the next time I can, uh, uh, can continue with disassembling my engine. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and uh, subscribe and leave your comments in the section below. Thank you. Bye.